How to set up Tailwind CSS in your next JS project? Guys, Tailwind CSS is a great UI library to style your application or any project. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use it in next JS. I have already made a video on how to use Tailwind CSS on React JS. And if you have watched this video, then you don't need to watch this video because the procedure is almost same. And if you can see this documentation, it is almost the same as the documentation for the React JS and I think it is more simpler than the React JS to install Tailwind CSS. So let's start. First of all, you have to create a folder and open command prompt in that folder. And now run this command. npx create next app and your application or project name. In my case, I am going to name it next Tailwind. You can name it anything you like. And now press enter to continue. And it will start installing and creating our next application and it will install react, react dom and next as you can see on the screen I am fast forwarding this video because it takes some time to create our next application so you have to wait for some time don't be panic and after some time you will see this screen which means the next JS application has been created and you can see the commands which you can run now so first of all I am going to go to the project directory by typing cd and project name I am navigating to the project directory to open this project in the VS code and you, you can open your application in any of your code editor in my case I'm going to open it with VS code and after opening your application in VS code or any of the code editor you will see this file structure which is the file structure of the next.js and the pages folder is the main directory of the next.js so now we're going to start our project and see if the application is working fine or not and we start the next.js project by running npm run dev and after this our application is going to be live on the local server which is localhost colon 3000 and if you're going to open the link in browser i'm going to open it with the given link here so if you open this in browser you can see the next application is running and this is the default page for next yes so guys now i'm going to open a new terminal and i'm going to install Tailwind CSS and its related dependencies like post CSS and auto prefixer with this command you can type as I am typing now npm install Tailwind CSS post CSS and auto prefixer and after some time it will install these three libraries so we can use Tailwind CSS after that this will also take some time so you have to wait for some time and after the command is completed you have to run a new command which is twin slash configuration files for post css and tailwind css so let's run this command npx tailwind css init hyphen p and after this you will see a configuration file for post css and a configuration file for tailwind css has been created and now we are going to navigate to the tailwind css.config.js and you can see this is structure here and now in content area we have to give the links or the paths to the directory where we are going to use Tailwind CSS for example we are going to use Tailwind CSS in the pages folder or if we are going to create another folder for components then we are going to use that in components so like if we are going to create a component folder like this then we have to give the path to the components folder or if you are going to create the source folder and components folder in that folder and we are going to create components in that components folder then we have to give like source then components then the types of the files so let's create a card component for example in this folder and now we are going to create a basic card component here and, and now guys you can see here we have two folders where we will be using Tailwind CSS and that is the pages folder and the components folder and in the pages folder you will find index.js in which you can see the page coming from so we'll change that later so first of all let's give the path to that folders in the content area of Tailwind css.config.js so let's paste it here and now we're going to change the components folder path because we have created that in the source folder so let's write dot slash source and now we can use Tailwind css in the components folder too so let's design a component with the Tailwind css or the Tailwind css classes like we are going to create our h1 tag with 
text for Excel that is the Tailwind CSS class. And now we are going to remove the default code for Next.js application and we are going to include our component in this index.js which we have created. And we have created the card component so we are going to write card. And guys react plugin will automatically import this component from the components folder in our index.js as you can see on the top here in your case you may have to import it manually by writing import card from source components and card so now let's run this and see as you can see our card component has been rendered on the screen and now let's put it side by side so we can see the difference while using Tailwind CSS and now we are going to go to the documentation and you can see there we have to include three lines in our CSS or the global art CSS which will be located in styles folder of the next.js application so let's copy this command and paste it in global.css or the globals.css and we have to paste it on the top because the Tailwind CSS requires it on the top and we are going to comment the existing code here and now let's paste it on the top you can write it manually if you don't have access to the documentation and we are going to import these components of the Tailwind CSS now as you can see here in the browser our Tailwind CSS card is now working and we are going to change the color because I don't like that and as you can see here I am using the Tailwind CSS classes so the Tailwind CSS is now working in our project and now we can style our project or application with Tailwind CSS in any way we like so now let's create a couple of h1 tags with Tailwind CSS classes as you can see here I'm going to create a couple of h1 tags and I'm going to give the classes name from the Tailwind CSS here and as you can see here the color and the text size is changing as I'm changing in the code so that's it for this video thanks for watching this video and stay healthy keep coding and keep watching tutorial